at 114, launcher closure door open. The results of a successful missile launch are pretty visible. The bright light from the boosters firing up, heated exhaust blasting out of the rocket motors, and the lifting of the missile into the sky. What is not as visible, though, is the work leading up to liftoff. Not only do we interface with the 30th, but we also have um, many contractors that are involved as well. Northrop Grumman, Boeing, the NNSA is here as well. Liftoff generally starts with a simultaneous turn of one key and three switches in a control room 70 feet underground. This room is only several hundred yards away from where the actual missile is launched. Launches like these have been happening for the past 50 years on Vandenberg and give missileers the chance to work together as a team with a one-of-a-kind weapon system. I've been on flight lines with aircraft. I've been in, I've been in Africa and countries around, around the globe. But working with the nation's most powerful nuclear weapons delivery system is one of the most exciting and satisfying jobs that I've had in the Air Force. And that satisfying job is not only the high point of their careers, but it is the tip of the spear for our nation's strategic deterrence. Reporting from Vandenberg Air Force Base, I'm Senior Airman Amber Ketchum.